name is Mr. John. I welcome you to my study room. In today's study, we are going to use Casio FX991 ES Plus for percentage calculations. And under this study, we are going to find a given percentage of another quantity. We are going to express one quantity as a percentage of another. We are going to increase a quantity by a given percentage as well as decrease another quantity by a given percentage so this is the objective of our study for today and i encourage you to make time with me as we go into the lesson thank you let's start by first turning on our calculator by pressing on the calculator is on then i want to quickly start by saying that for us to get a percentage sign we need to use shift and then the open parenthesis function when you look you can see the percentage sign on top there that is it that's the percentage sign on top there so anytime you want to enter the percentage sign you need to press shift and then open parenthesis and that brings the percentage sign so for example i want to write 50 percent you just type 50 then shift then open parenthesis and that gives me 50 percent i want to enter 30 percent 30 shift open parenthesis 30 percent so let's go to the first thing i said we'll be taking that is finding a given percentage of another quantity let's say you are asked to find 20 percent of 60. yours is just to enter the 60 times 20 then shift open parenthesis equal to and that gives you 12 as 20 percent of 60 then we can also try another one let's say we want to find 24 percent of 25 so we have our 25 times 24 percent and the answer is 6 so 24% of 25 is 6 I hope you know that of in mathematics means multiplication so 24% of 25 that's 25 times or you can do 24% times 25 is the same thing we move to the second part which is to express one quantity as a percentage of another for us to be able to express one quantity as a percentage of another we must first make sure both quantities are in the same unit. So if it is money, they must be in the same currency. If it is time, they must be both either in minutes or hours or seconds or whatever unit you want to use. Then after that, a very important thing, because most of us have challenges with word problem. So a very important thing we must know is that the figure which comes after the off is always the denominator of the expression that one is very very important the quantity which comes after the of is the denominator of your calculation so let's take an example we are to calculate 80 milliliters as a percentage of 400 milliliters the one that comes after the of is the denominator so we have 80 divided by 400 remember they are both in the same unit ml so there's nothing to do and the one that comes after the of is the denominator then shift percent equals 20 so if you want to express 80 as a percentage of 400 it will give you 20 that means that 80 is 20 percent of 400 all right we can take another example calculate what percentage of 3700 is 296 calculate what percentage of 3700 is 296 so you see the one that comes after the of 3700 so our solution is going to be 296 divided by 3700 then we attach the percentage sign equal to it means that 296 is 8% of 3700 
So I'll give you a third one for you to work and then share your answer with me in the comment box if you wish. And that one is what percentage of two hours 40 minutes is one hour 36 minutes? What percentage of two hours 40 minutes is one hour 36 minutes? Remember to change both of them to one unit. And maybe the best unit here will be to change all of them to minutes so that you can easily work them out. When you finish, you should have 60%. So you don't need to share the answer with me again in the comment box. You should have 60%. Then move on to the next item on my menu for this lesson, which is to increase a quantity by a percentage. And percentage increase is very common in our daily life. You are going to buy something and they said now the price has increased by 2% or the price has increased by 15% and so on and so forth. How do you calculate to know how much you are going to pay as a new price if there's a percentage increase? That is what I'm helping to use a calculator to do. The first question here is increase 500 Ghana CDs by 30%. Increase 500 Ghana CDs by 30%. To start, you first of all enter the original value you are increasing 500 then plus 500 again times the percentage 30 then you attach the percentage sign to it 30 percent and the answer is 650 ghana cities so if the cost of an item was 500 cities and is increased by 30 percent you are now going to pay 650 cities as a new cost of the item then we are to increase 540 by 20 percent so you are going to do the same thing again if you like you can pause and work it out before we compare so you are increasing 540 by 20 percent you enter your 540 then plus 540 times 20 percent and our answer is 648 so if the cost of an item was 540 cities or in your currency and is increased by 20 percent the new price you are going to pay is 648 it's not only about increase we can also talk about decrease percentage decrease so let's say you are going to buy something and they said there is a discount on the on the item how much will you buy if they give you the percentage discount how do you calculate your new price so that is percentage decrease let's take this question the cost of a bicycle is 1440 ghana cities if the cost is decreased by 24 percent find out how much a customer will pay for the bike it's just almost the opposite of the percentage increase that we did a while ago we are going to enter the original cost of the bicycle 1440 cities then minus for discount we use minus for increase we use addition or plus so minus the percentage is 24 so we are going to enter the cost again 1440 times 24 percent and our new cost is going to be 5472 over 5 but then we want it in cities and passwords so we press sd and that is 1094 cities 40 passwords remember i, I said 40 passwords because the zero is insignificant for that matter the calculator didn't represent but currency is in two decimal places so we add zero to make it two decimal places so the new cost after 24 percent decrease or discount is 1094 cities 40 pesos and the next question is discount 1600 dollars by 15 percent so we are just going to do the same thing 1600 minus 1600 times 15 percent and our answer is 1360 dollars so if you decrease 1600 dollars by 15 percent you are going to have 1360 dollars so i hope 
with the few things we just did now the next time you go to the shop and then you are told about a discount in percentages or a percentage increase in the cost of something you can calculate your own new cost just using the calculator or better still you are trading in an item and you'll be paid a commission and they give you the percentage you can just calculate that percentage of whatever you are selling and know your commission right at the beginning the same way when you there is an increase in salary in percentage you can just work it out and know how much salary you get and many other more applications of this i hope this lesson has been of help to you if yes then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this thank you for making time with me today and i hope to see you again bye bye